In this video we discuss the social sanctions sanctions are penalties and rewards for conduct concerning social norms. According to Purcell, the rewards or penalties which a society, group or an institution gives the individuals for positive behavior is called as sanctions. Types of sanctions. There are four main types of social sanctions. 1. Positive sanctions. These are the sanctions which consist of reward, appreciation, medals, etc. In Islamic society, positive sanctions are Amra, Bil Maruf for example, honesty, truth, justice, respect of parents, patriotism, respect of teacher etc. 2. Negative sanctions. Negative sanctions consist of threat, fear, beating, punishment, penalty, joking, criticism, condemn, imprisonment, etc. In Islamic society, negative sanctions are nahi un nilmunka. For example, bribery, black marketing, pride, deception terrorism etc. 3. Formal sanctions. These sanctions which are brought into light through formal rules and regulations as well as formal channel whether they are positive or negative are called as formal sanctions. For example, the give a medal to someone through television, or to find someone on media etc. 4. Informal sanctions. Those sanctions which are not brought into light through formal or proper means or channel are called as informal sanctions. For example, to appreciate or admire someone in a party or function, to joke someone or laugh at someone etc. Now we discuss the different short terms counterculture it is a subculture, which is in active opposition to the dominant culture. Next one is cultural patterns that strongly oppose widely accepted patterns within a society. Example could be of hippies, and drug users. Next one cultural change. Cultural change is the process of alteration of culture over time. Any difference in a particular pattern between two points in time may be called cultural change. This may be a change in the family pattern, which is changing from joint family system to a nuclear family system in Pakistani society. Very important term is cultural lag all parts, elements, of culture do not change at the same rate, some of them change faster than the other. The different rate of change in the two integrated elements of culture can result in one element lagging behind the other. William F. Ogburn called this gap between the two parts of culture as cultural lag. Such a cultural lag usually disrupts the system. For example material culture may change faster than the non-material culture. We often see it is difficult to change the habits quickly. Ethnocentrism is very important term it's define the practice of judging others' culture by the standards of one's own culture. People consider their own culture as superior to others and apply their standards for evaluating the patterns of behavior of others. The whole judgment is centered on one's own culture. Next term is xenocentrism considering others' culture as superior to one's own. Cultural relativism the practice of judging a culture by its own standards. A particular pattern of behavior is right or wrong as it is declared by the people who follow it. Since those people are following a particular practice, supposedly it might be serving some useful function in that society. Nevertheless, the same practice may be useful for one group and may be harmful for the other in the same society. Subcultures when a group of people within a society have a style of living that includes features of dominant culture but also certain cultural elements not found in other groups the group culture is called subculture. A subculture may develop around occupations such as those in the medical or military fields. Subculture may reflect a social and ethnic difference, as the subculture of black Americans, different ethnic subcultures in Pakistan.